Hey everyone, Chance Collier here. Thank you for clicking on this video. This is Mobile Home Masters here, and we're starting a brand new series today. And uh, today's video is going to be about the introduction into mobile home financing. So let's go. Okay, so if you're a subscriber to our channel, you know what we post a lot of videos about mobile home tours. Well, this video today is the start of something that we've been wanting to do for a long time. And well, it's finally happened. I'm really excited about it. And so go ahead, if you would, hit the like button. We really would appreciate it if you do enjoy this video. But what I wanted to say before we get into the actual mobile home finance and start talking about things, we want to make a lot of videos like this. Actually, I have a I have a lapel mic order, so the audio will be a lot better on the next video. But I want to go ahead and start this introduction and get things rolling. But um, what I wanted to say is drop us a comment with maybe some questions that you have about mobile home, mobile home finance, and it doesn't have to be necessarily financing. It can be anything to pertain with a mobile home. Drop a comment on this video, and we're going to be going through those comments, and we're going to be making videos around those certain questions so we can help you guys. It just helps us to be able to know, you know what to talk about and what you guys would like to know. Okay, and so for the first part of this series, we're just going to have an introduction. I'm going to talk about some of the videos that you're going to be expecting, and then we're going to hop into the very first thing that you need to be working on to get this process going. So I'm taking it, if you're watching this video, maybe you just want some knowledge on mobile home financing, or maybe you are going to start the process of purchasing yourself a mobile home, which we really are excited about you taking this leap and doing this. So we're going to be talking about the different loans you can get through uh, you know, mobile home lenders. There's several different loans out there available, and we want to make videos breaking down each one of them so we can really dive into each loan and you know exactly what each one means and what kind of everything that has to do with them. Okay, so there's home only loans. There's, you know, if you purchase a land home with a home owned land, there's a land in lieu loan where you can take your land and put your land up. Uh, for your down payment. There's FHA loans. Um, there's several others and we're going to ma be making videos around each one of those. So stick around and depending on when you're watching, we'll never have some of those up and you can find those videos on the channel. We're going to be talking about credit scores with each one of those loans and I see a lot of comments and questions about what's your credit have to be and all this and that. So we're going to talk about those things in those videos about each loan so you'll know kind of what the credit has to be, the different rates you can get depending on your credit. Now we're just going to be able to estimate those things because banks give different rates and everything, but you'll be able to step out there and when you go to purchase your home, you'll be able to have a really good understanding of what to look for and you know kind of what you're up against. So that's some of the videos that are coming up, but today we're going to talk about that first step into the process, into the introduction of mobile home financing and what it takes and what you need to do. Okay, so we're going to say that, hey, you've been watching some of our videos, Mobile Home Masters, you've been touring some of our houses. Uh, by the way, we really do appreciate you watching those videos. And always drop us a comment, let us know maybe what you'd like to see or you know what you like about the home or, or don't like about the home, that's fine too. Uh, but we enjoy reading you guys' comments. But anyway, you're looking at the houses, you see something that you like, and you think, you know what, this mobile home process may be for me. Well, let's talk about the first thing that you need to do if that's where you're at. So you've seen the houses on the videos or online and you're like, look, well maybe I need to go to the dealership and I need to start looking at some of these houses. Well, I'm going to tell you something you need to do before you even go to the dealership and you say, well, I've already been to the dealership. Well, that's fine. I'm just saying, general rule of thumb, this is what I would do if I was starting the process today. And that is having your land situation figured out. And I know to me this sounds like, well yeah, obviously, but there's a lot of times and a lot of customers that we see coming into our dealership that do not have this figured out and they're potentially looking at houses that they're going to fall in love with, but they're not able to purchase because they don't have their land situation figured out. So there's four different possibilities with your land that you can do with a mobile home and I'm going to talk about all four of those and so let's not mess around. The Number one is going to be land that you own. Now you've got to understand that we're going to be taking the home that you're purchasing and taking it and putting it on land for you, okay? So you've got to have the land but this is land that you personally own yourself. This home can be paid for or this home can still have a lien on it. Either way, this home is in your name. Now, if the land is in your name, you're able to use 80% of that land's value for down payment on the purchase of your home 
if you want to use land. Now, if the land is not paid for, you can still set the home on the land, but you're not able to use the land for your down payment. Now, number one, that is the most common one that we see. People come in an RDO ship, they have their own land in their name, but it may or may not be paid for. But there are several others that maybe you haven't thought of that I want to reveal to you today. And number two would be family land. Now, this is land that you don't own. This may be your parents' land. This may be your grandparents' land. This may be your uncle, aunt's land. This is somebody's land that's in your family, but it's not your own. Believe it or not, you can still set your home that you're purchasing up on this land, even though it's not in your name. Now, you're not able to use this land for down payment, but what you can do is you can get a, a land lease waiver agreement signed where the, where the landowners of the land say, it's okay for you to put your home there, and you can put your home on this property. So that's another option for you if you don't have land yourself. And I know I'm kind of storming through these. This is my first video, so y'all just bear with me. Hopefully I'll be able to get better at this. But number three, I want to talk about land that you're purchasing. So maybe you have found some land, but you haven't purchased it yet, and you want to take the land and put it with the home. Now this is possible. You have two different options when you do this. Number one, you can take the land that you're purchasing and then you can find the home that you're wanting and you can combine these two for one loan. Now when you do that, you gotta have the percentage down on both of those combined, remember that. Or you can simply purchase the land, cash outright, or you can get a loan on it as well and then find the home that you want and get what's called a home only loan on the home that you're purchasing. As far as which one is better, we're gonna start talking about more of that in the upcoming videos when we break down each loan, but I just wanna show you the different options you have with your land. And then number four that I wanna talk about today is one that I'm not just totally, too totally familiar with, um, but I do know we have done this before and it is possible, and that is if you're putting a home inside a mobile home park. Now, this is possible. You will be able to do that and you can still finance that home. The only thing is you're going to have to get with, obviously, the park and you're going to figure out what requirements they have. They may only require double wides or triple wides or who knows. There's really no way for me to tell you. But what you need to know is you need to get with the park that you're intending on putting a home in before you start looking at a house so you know what you're up against when that but you can do that you can take a home you can put it inside a mobile home park and still totally 100 percent finance the mobile home so i wanted this introduction video to be all about you and your land because i can tell you this i would teetotally have my land situation figured out before i ever went to a dealership or started looking at homes now i'm not talking about watching videos on them that's totally awesome and we actually uh, encourage that but what I'm saying is before you start going to dealerships and you start walking through a bunch of houses and falling in love with these certain homes that you want to purchase but when it turns out the land or the property that you're getting or in the process of getting you're not able to set that home there then that's going to create a problem for you so I'm just telling you if I was you and I was starting the process number one I would have my land situation figured out. Now I also want to mention if you don't have septic, power, water, any of that on the property that you have, that's okay because any of that can be financed in depending on the loan that you do. And then also, you know, the dealership may include some of this for you as well. So you just have to talk with them in the process of you purchasing your home. But what I'm saying is have your land situation figured out is where you're planning to put this home. So once you have your land situation figured out, guess what? You're ready to start taking on this mobile home process. And so some of our next videos, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be sitting down with some of the other people in my company, and we're gonna be digging into these loans and kind of figuring out exactly what's gonna work best for you. Now, I'm not gonna be able to post these videos every other day like I have the tours, but we're gonna try to sprinkle them in maybe once a week, once every two weeks. So be looking for them. And what I would encourage is share these videos with other people that you know are in the process of purchasing a home that really help us out a lot. Well guys, this has been our introduction into mobile home finance. And we're gonna dig really, really deep, but uh, I just wanted to make this introduction video so we, so we can connect here and you guys can see what we're trying to do. So be sure and drop us a comment with any questions that you have. Cause we, you know, we want to make videos on the, on the questions that you have to be able to help you guys along the way of your home purchase process. But uh, if you have enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button. And if you've never checked out our channel, what we do is we post a lot of mobile home content, mostly tours at this point, but I want to start putting a lot of this stuff in there. So if you enjoy, smash that red subscribe button and we really would appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys.